Brendan? What do I always say about friends? What do you, you have to say You got one, you got two, you got three, you got four! Okay, yeah. <laughs> got it. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're gonna go over sound then, right? Yeah, we'll add music. Okay. Wow. I'm just gonna be quiet. Just for the sake of being quiet, it's pretty high tech. There's no Seriously. reason to. Doom, 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 doom. We'll put mad techno music or something. Yeah, but. I think this good. works good, though. I don't think we can afford techno nice. music, really. What? I don't think we can afford techno music. How about static? Yeah. How <laughs> about white noise? <laughs> <coughs> we need. No, we should know. We should do overdubs of takes right now. Like, oh, oh, oh just all so weird too. things going yeah, on. That'd be funny. Yeah, you see what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's slow. Wait, it's supposed to be S L O E. <laughs> uh oh. Slow gin. All right, Jody. That was pretty cool. <laughs> wait, wait. Is, is that is that acting? Is, is wait, that, no, is, let's do it again. I just did that. I did that. No, no, I'm in. I'm in. But, I'm but, in. are you an actor? Um, I, I, that's not really. I, is that I acting? Did, I did some uh, productions. Yes. I. Such a round too much. Like that scream. I like this. I think this is really too Yo, you know what font this is? This is uh, yeah. PA86. Palatino. Yeah. Palatino. Yo, do you realize it's like, it's a very nice effect with the dark up above? And the screen is all nice and... Maria Shatner. Yeah. Shatner. Damn that Shatner. She ruined us. I'm blaming a lot of our problems on Shatner. I am too. Go for it. Yeah. Like she told me to sell the van for drugs. <laughs> what? She went to the party. She knew what was wrong. That's one R. I think. That's right. What? Something's wrong with that. It's one R. Don't Parents. worry about it. Okay. Who cares? That's that. My name is Nate. Nate Aspen. This is my friend. I'm Ra Ray Stratton. And well, I don't know. I guess we start from the beginning. Um, we're back at school. Back at school, uh, we formed a. Uh, we were both students of film. Kind of production. Production crew. Yeah, we were very interested in making films. And uh, basically we started a company known as Relative Hat. This was our production company. This Relative. started how many years ago? Um, what do you think? About three three years ago we started this? Right, right. Um, well, you're here because of our production. It all began for me when I saw uh, possibly the greatest filmmaker of all time, Alfred Hitchcock's production of Psycho when I was four years old. And it inspired me to do this great, all, was, all I ever wanted to do was just do work like him. And this production basically has allowed but, us to do that. But what some don't realize is uh, we all know when Psycho was produced and uh, you, you, did, you saw it when you were four. Yeah. 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 I saw when I was about five, the man who knew too much. And it was amazing. I've never seen him use the MacGuffin, the, the theme of marriage, having the public versus private life conflict, and doing so many of these things in variable without, you know, with ease, without the audience even knowing and manipulating the audience. So at the end, you're going home with, what do you say, with, with so much. It's, it's like you're devastated. you got your popcorn and your soda, and now you're empty. What? He came from England. Of all people, he came from England. I think Actually, well, we came across. Yeah. Well, we came across. Yeah, this amazing turn of events for us. This is why you guys are here. We came across the first work, possibly, that Alfred Hitchcock ever put to paper, and that we are now putting the film for the first time. We're rolling now. Um, Nate, why don't you tell me a little bit about the garage sale? Well, well, first of all, we're big, you know, fans. You know, you never know what you might get at a garage sale, especially around Hollywood. Uh, we were out there for a bit, and well, we came across an old box. And uh, looking inside, and, uh, and a close, you know, I guess looking at under it. Under closer examination, we re it was we realized what a treasure chest this old card dilapidated cardboard box that was nearly rotten. We realized what it had in it. And you, you I remember you, you called us over really quick. Yeah, I, I shouted. I exclaimed. He started brushing, over here, brushing off, you know, the name, and it was an old, old script. And I think it was the legendary script we read about it. Yeah, and Spato was talking about it millions of times he said it's the script the missing link script and and there it is and yeah, it was yeah. ours and how much did we buy it for uh 20 
five or, cents, I think. Yeah, it was like twenty five. It was basically cents. a quarter. We bought we, ten we, scripts for two fifty. We we even we even uh we bid them down. Yeah. We we bid it we bid it them down from the price. I don't know the text the syntax. And, and he had uh, I don't know what. It, well, no, he speaks between the syntax. I know horn he horn. It's horn. all in there. It's horn. It's, it's, it's horn. like it's like uh, perpetual. It's a it's a chant. It's like a horn. it's like a tribal horn. horn. Like a tribal I mean, like feel. And it, it's amazing that how it'll work. It's for timeless. Us. It's a timeless piece exactly. of work. Essentially, it's Shakespeare. We're going to utilize our own ability to adapt this into our way of life. I mean, in our century, this was written in 1910. I know. This is his very first work. For the, the, the Model T, he wrote this for, yeah. obviously. Yeah, uh, maybe we should give a little back. We have to, uh, they have to get somewhere. And in our case, and in actually Hitch Hitchcock's case, it's to a baseball card show. Because they wanted to get one of the characters, I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty details, one of the characters was winning an award at a baseball card show, and they had to get there at a certain time. And before they're going there, they they got their car got bombed, and this it they're running into a tree. I have to stop it. It's planted with a Model T Ford, but in essence, it's a modern day vehicle. We came across a grant of a significant amount of money that we're going to be put to use. How'd you get this money? This was from an anonymous relative of mine, and I'm sure I know who it is, but it was basically a check in the mail. Check it all. This is home base for Relative Hat Productions. All right, See what you they're up to now. Basically, can you explain me the numbers? We had that, everything. All right, that column. We, we had over $30,000, and it says here we're down to. We're down to three six hundred and fifty eight dollars. So we were gonna do like half of that. We we need some for production. How I, are we gonna I, get I, cast I, I don't know. I mean at the time This is ours. It, this is our entire script. This hasn't even gone to the next stage, it's not even second draft. Do you realize how much this is gonna be? Six hundred dollars, that'll that'll hire us one actor from the casting crew. At the time it seemed so much more important to get You are not respecting me? I didn't, I didn't want... It, it, I can't even believe this. I'll call up the people. We'll get actors for that I amount. I don't want to listen to your... It's impossible. Did you realize? Look at this. Look at look at these numbers. Okay. You used $20,000 in one day to serve... You rented out... All right. Jamaica Hall, one of the largest in Hollywood... We can't, we can't even get to Hollywood. We didn't have transportation. We didn't even show up. We got so many people there, though. We got our names out. That was so much more important than, but oh, we're going we're gonna to buy some more it's lights. Nothing, it's nothing to do with our production at all. Did you mention anything about it? No. Well, I, you know what I did uh, mention? Relative hat. And what, what's no, this? You want, you, you. All right, napkins. Thank you from Mr. Aspen. I have nothing to do with that. I mean, why would you have that printed? That cost over... What three hundred and sixty dollars a napkin, totaling over five thousand dollars for the entire evening. Those, I mean, are your our names are out though. Funny is coming. We're getting. I talked to. That, that's true, Mister Mister Aspen. Yeah, they they do know your name now with the nice napkin. Excuse me. Excuse me. Th this okay. is this is none yeah, of your actually, business right now. This this, this this is a private matter. I really appreciate. We've been patient. Uh, we'll back off here a little. We're. Uh, is this? <sighs> Dude, let's get... You got that. I am Maria Shatner, and um, originally the agency came to me with a sum of money, um, but it wasn't enough. They, These boys, they just spent it on cocktail napkins and whatever, and uh, they had nothing. But I got a call two days later, and I was able to come up with some warm bodies. It wasn't exactly what they wanted, but it'll work. Um, all right. Ah, uh, Maria Shadner. I just, I think we got screwed in this whole deal. I mean, I called her up, I was, yeah, we got all these things going on, this and that. She promises me these fantastic actors. I mean, 
real life drama people. And then, I, okay, we spent some money on catering, but then two days later, I mean, we get Midget Restaurant? What's that about? Restaurant, and I'm an actor. I've been acting for a couple years now. Uh, recently, I've been doing uh, what you call anti-drug um, talks at the high schools around here in Long Island. But I've told you that a few groups dedicated to living clean, and who actually never use any sort of recreational substances in their lives. And junk food is a lot less dangerous than drinking and drugs. I mean, that is until I was talking to my agent. Uh, by Alfred Hitchcock, and that they wanted to uh, get some unproven actors. The thing about slow is, uh, I remember Alfred Hitchcock said once, or maybe it was somebody talking about Alfred Hitchcock, maybe Quentin Tarantino, or Scorsese, and they were talking about suspense and how Hitchcock thought of suspense in a particular way. You know, you can show two guys playing poker for half an hour. Then all of a sudden there's a bomb on their table that blows up and that's exciting and people might jump, said Hitchcock, but that's not suspense. Think about the thing about slow is though, it's like what Hitchcock was saying suspense is, it's you put the bomb under the table and you let it play poker for half an hour. I mean I'm no expert on Hitchcock like the Ray. They really love that guy, but I do know that he had a good idea what he was doing, and slow seems to be one of his I'm uh, playing Ned El Kokomo for, for Slow. They, uh, they came to me a couple months ago about this project. And, uh, it goes, I really don't have any confidence that this, uh, that this project is going to work at all. And uh, a lot of that is because they wanted me to do all their scenes nude. And uh, I, didn't have, I didn't have any reason to do that, especially when I get paid for it. Um, I don't know what else I can tell you guys, but I think we should maybe take a walk along these docks here. This is where I, this is where I grew up in, Port Jefferson. Long Island, New York. Father was a fisherman, grandfather was a fisherman. My uncle was in the Merchant Marines. He was a captain during the Second World War. <laughs> Ned Oklahoma, where do I start? He's a, he's a puzzled man. That's, that's, where I, that's where I really see him. He's he, he was baffled by his ability to collect all these baseball cards. And uh, I really see that as the key to his part. The baseball cards. And the baseball cards they represent, they represent youth. They represent childlike innocence. They represent so, so many, many things. It's, it's, it's where do we go from here after, I, after, I've done, after I've done the baseball cards, what's next for this character? I don't know. That piece right there. That's where my sister was hardly burned in a oil fire. And those docks right there. I don't even want to go into that. But the docks, they, they truly are wondrous. Seeing these uh, seagulls here it gets me. Because I, I start, I start to think about my grandmother, and um, she was here about oh, must be six, seven years ago now. And um, okay, I can't even, I can't even go on. We knew that we really didn't have money to afford a crew.
So that's when we approached the cast and and offered them a share of the film's profit in exchange if they essentially became the crew. I was really kind of befuddled by that when they uh, when they told us to uh, be the crew too, because I really only like to work like an hour and a half a day, and being the crew like they're like you got to be the gaffer, you got to gaff this and gaff that, and I was like, well, what are you talking about? And he's like, you got to be the best boy and the grip, and uh, I don't know, I'm just I I get so tired so easily. When they told me I was going to have to work crew too, I was a bit excited, uh, but more than anything, I was kind of pissed off. Uh, especially since uh, Ned had taken the job, well, the character playing Ned, of being Gaffer and Beth's boy. I figured those were pretty much the best things anyway. And who wants to hold a camera? Pretty good. Where the hell are you? Well, yeah, I, I guess it did a good job. But Norman Bronte. Hello. Midget! Midget, come out here. Hello. Oh! Norman! Midget? Midget no, Norman! Restaurant. Norman, I, I, I know you don't know me, but you're one of my fans. No, I'm, I'm one of your fans. Come on in. Come on. I want, I want, I want I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Go on. Go on, guys. Norman. Go on. Go on. Yeah. Go on. Little old Norman. You finally got that. Yeah. Norman, it was a real pleasure to work with. Norman Bronte. I'm a real hero of, I mean, he's a real <laughs> hero of mine, and uh, I'm really proud to have worked with him on this occasion. Day one. The water? Exactly. Warm. Mm. What? The water. Yeah, you boil bagels. Well, we're flipping baked bagels like that. From what do you mean, Ray right, right. So we got everyone, and... Yeah, we just went right into production. We couldn't afford a makeup artist, so we actually we had to improvise with our own raw materials. I pictured the character with the tattoo. Um, I wish we could afford makeup though. This is is this dangerous? Is is it'll come out of someone. Is, is this gonna is this gonna is this gonna hurt? Like that's fine. This that's is fine. Let's <laughs> put you uh, let's give you some of that. Hitchcock not loves you. Could, how's this gonna show up on film? I'm not gonna look like an idiot. It's gonna be a reflection. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna look like an idiot. Am I? Here, here. No, they called right. him the master of makeup. Yeah. All right. So that'll extend your mouth. This is this is gonna show up good, right? Yeah. It's gonna make your whole face gleam with passion. I feel beautiful almost. <laughs> you look great. Uh, great costume we got for this. This is what I roll. Oh, we had original jams. Nice, nice costume. Hello, Charlie. Hi, planet that I like to call the Earth. Let's do it. All right. Yeah. Get in the camera? Yeah, we'll close the door, actually. Let's go, yeah. Sweet. Wait, wait, we were going to cat walk. What? Uh, hold on, what's that? We got to film you guys. We got to film. All right, you ready? We got to do a couple of takes. Let's go ahead. Yo, man, shut the fuck up. Yo, there's a seat in here. Alright, you ready? Alright. In three, two. Hello, I've been the baseball car champion of the world for a very long time. I've been to many baseball card shows. I hate Ned. You need some baseball cards. <laughs> two. I have been the baseball card champion of the world for as long <laughs> as the world has been. I hate Ned. If he makes it to the baseball card show by 3 o'clock on the day that is today... <laughs> Here, Brent, I'm filming now. You're filming. <laughs> All right.
I don't know. This is such an interesting premise. You know, it's almost like... Where are we going next? Well, you know... I think our first You know, my... My mom and stuff. This car is barely going to make it in. We had to fix the radiator. Scotty Pippen says he remains a Chicago boy. Yeah, but what about them? We already did that. We already did that. Oh, yeah. Told a television station in Chicago... Excuse me, what? How come I'm always the last to know these things? What's wrong with you guys? Anyway? No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We're just, exactly. we're going to the set, everything's going to work out. I'm sorry about yeah. the trouble. I just, I feel like I'm sleeping. Do you, you want know? some more bagels or something? I feel like I'm sleeping. Here. I still feel like I'm sleeping. <laughs> Are you serious? Uh, well, I think that, uh, really the first couple of scenes with Norman went really well. The Norman scenes were excellent. Um, and then we, uh, went out to location. Witty. He was very witty. And, uh, I think their, uh, directing kind of got a little bit uncouth. Uh, uh, je ne sais pas, amateurs. Amateurs. There, was, there was no um, real cameras. There's a lot of, this, you know, not so much traffic right now. I think we can handle that. Does that sound like a good idea? Yeah, it maybe? sounds pretty good. We're filming!
mean, it's wild. I had to start, uh, you know, telling Ray he's going to start acting now. This isn't just producing now. You're now an actor. I know this is a hard role, but we don't have enough casting, like you said, so. And, uh, I know you can do it. I mean, it's a bit of a, it's, it's for, for, yeah, we're essentially the same person, except he's oriental. Right, or right, Eastern. exactly. So. so, I know, we did about 12 takes. Okay. Let's make this the, the best one. Okay, yet. I'm fine, I'm good. No, no, look, you know, you know what to do. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. And, do and, what? and say what you just Master. said to Tom. Okay. This is just a close-up. Okay. Master, close, we close, don't have a journey. Too close. Not a costume, it's just like that. Oh, All right, say what you said to Tom. Master, come with me to the card show. All right, Tom. Yeah. Now just be like, yes. Okay. Wrap that around. Uh-huh. Well, uh, wah. Uh, wah. Wah, uh, yeah. It's very important that you just, this is a very key scene. Hitchcock did this all the time. Okay. All right, Ray. On three. Three, two. Yes, we shall go. But through it all, I mean, I mean, it, it worked out. It, we had a good production. It, it all came together. Mm. Yes, my son. Come with me to the card show. Come with me to the card show. Yes, we shall go. Day dos. As far as I was concerned, day one went beautifully. But Ray and Nate wanted us to come in and do some rehearsal before day two started. Hey, yes, nobody answered that question yet. Yeah, well, uh, this, this is my house. This is this is my house, basically. Where's the oh. studio where I'm an actor? It's well, I, I, I got to be in the studio. No, well, just just bear with me. I know this is Raj's setting, uh, but we have to go over the scene, the introduction of Chip. Okay. And this, yes, I understand. Right. So yeah, get comfortable with the character. But well, when you come in, look at me. Look all right, me. all right. Hitchcock always said, it's all about how you carry yourself. So watch me as I go. Okay. Say I'm Chip. Where did Ray go? You enter the car. Yeah, he's, he's around. He's, he's around. just inside. Okay. He's good. Right. He's cool. But Chip. Yes. You know as an actor. Yes. The, the director is sometimes mm -hmm. to, yes. to, to show you. So watch. Watch me closely. You watch the presence just come in. You just sit down. And you're like, ah. Oh. You know? Wait, I don't get this. This is in the car? Yeah. W well, isn't there going to be like walls to the car and uh, won't I be opening a door? Oh, Should I be opening a door when course, I try to sit course, like that? Of course, but I'm just saying you have to carry yourself. But first stock, and and I just I just can't I but can't picture this really. Just just I, I understand you're trying to do that, but I just can't picture it. All right, I'm sorry, but there's another. What, what's my motiv what's, what's my motivation for this 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 hurried this hurried? What's, what's this? Am I in a well, hurry? Well, you're you're a punk rock. I'm punk, punk, punk rock. Here. Okay, so this is a more punk. punk. Yeah, yeah. Like, trying to know what to feel. I'm going with my feelings. You guys didn't get any script? Right. No. Ray didn't give you a script. We we were obviously you have in Summerside you've done some improvisation sure character acting sure I well, I could be a I could be a couch myself okay all right be a couch too can I be a couch yeah I'm all right a couch and he is all right right now that's, that's <laughs> what we're doing we're so. doing character acting but you yo you're a punk all right I'm a punk you're oh, a punk. Oh, this is how oh, this is how oh, this is how oh, oh, okay. right. yeah great great this is how Hitchcock did it. this is how you're gonna do it is, is, gonna, is, is this true I I never heard this before. I went to school for this actually. Oh, okay. I, have, right. I have my my BS in this. Bullshit. So. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. All right, cocky. That's science. enough from you, Spence. All right. Do you understand me, Bucket? I mean, Midget. Yeah. Do you understand me? I understand. Okay, let's, great. Let's take this. Seat. Wait. All right. All right. Uh, we're ready. All right. You know what your motivation is? I sure. Yo, you're Baseball all American Marshall. guy. All American. Yeah. What's your What's your middle name? What's your middle name? Uh, all fucking American. John. What's your middle name? John. Matter? All American. All Ned American. All fucking Ned American. All American. Oklahoma. Yeah. And what do you I want? What do you want? I want to be the guest book world records. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. You ready? All right. Get up. Get yeah, up. Just, just, okay. You gotta. You gotta get in the car. Just. Do I like him? Your best friends. best friends, right? Best friends. Well, I know, I know that I'm best friends with him, but do do I do I, do I do I like him? Like him? Like him? No, no, no. I don't do gay scenes. Yo, I don't, I don't, I don't do want gay, that. I don't, I don't want do that. Gay I don't either. want any of that junk. Oh. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying with you. With, your butts. You're punk. You're punk, but you're. Do buddies. I like him? Yeah. The guy. Right, right. Guy. So this is our this is our yeah, first scene. Us. This is um. We're in the car. In the car. Yeah, we're talking. You start out. You're. I start. You want to say? You say hello to me. Hello. 
Hello. <laughs> wait, wait. Is, is, that, is that acting? Is, is wait, that, no, let's do it again. Is that acting? I just did that voice. No, no, I mean it. I mean it. But, I but, but uh, are you an actor? Um, I, I, that's not really. I, is I, that I acting? Did, I did some uh, productions, yes. I've 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 done some. I never. You were in. I, I haven't done much screen work, so. Oh, you haven't. Okay, I'm a little. I may be a little more experienced, so I know how the voices work on film. You have to do right, different right. gestures. Like on television, I'm doing a totally different scene than I'm doing on in the big screen. You understand me? All right. So that's what I'm. That's what I'm working on right now. All right. All right. Okay. Let's give a shot again. Okay. Go ahead. Hello. <laughs> What's my line again? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll just give you a minute. I'm, uh, uh, I don't know your line. Um, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, all right, all right, I don't know. All right, let's pick it up from here. Does anybody know his Hello? line? Hello. What is this line? How are you, my son? <laughs> this doesn't seem like much of a line to me. I'm doing quite well. My spiritual advisor, wow, who, who may <laughs> yeah. away. You can call me. <laughs> I see some discrepancies. I don't know if they're going to smooth them out somehow, but I just see that. Oh, no, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We have a great uh, editing suite here. Is this natural enough? You're not. You're not so natural. Um, can, can I can I show you what, like when you say that? Like well, I'm not not. Wait, not wait, wait, let me act with it. Let me act with it. Again, you be the spiritual advisor. I'll be the spiritual advisor. For I, don't, a I, don't, I don't know. But no, no, I, 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 I think, I think this would make me really. Uh, this. Uh, Nate, Nate. This really is a um, hey, well, kind of, This really. This whole scene doesn't yeah, fit well, in with this. Too. We can we can just have it work. We'll we'll we eliminate that. We eliminate that. We couldn't afford that. We'll, we eliminate that and we'll move. We'll just eliminate two through eight, and we go right to the end, right? Yeah. Okay. Just no. That's we got to get it working. Okay. Wait, no, that won't work. It's this is complete crap. What? This 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 can't even be hit. I don't even know. Wait. Let me see. If, this isn't even Hitchcock. This is what are, Hitchcock. What, are you about? what the hell have we been doing? Oh, hold on. Bitchcock. I'm sick of this. Wait, come back, right? What? It's we we're fools. Wait, wait, wait a second. This is this is not by Hitchcock at all. It's Alfred Hitchcock, one of the lesser known porn writers, 1985. We've been we've been filming this with the finesse of one of the greats, and it's it's garbage. Um, when I realized the script wasn't actually Hitchcock, I I couldn't take it. I just took off. I told the cast. Listen, you got a couple of days, do what you want, and I left town, went to Vegas. When Ray left, uh, things got bad. I, I didn't know what to tell the cast. Uh, they took some time off, and I had to regroup. It's game number two, son. Okay. Oh, the booze again! Uh, the point where I pretty quickly actually it was day two. Um, I felt the love though. I felt the love of the production. I really wanted to keep it going, so I took the hundred dollars I got from the making of the movie. Took a bus down to Vegas. I found Ray, brought him back, convinced him that slow was worth making. Even if it was, yeah. <laughs> But I can keep. No, of course. No, wait, this should be good. Right. Even if it was Albert Bitchcock, Ray really did make it a movie. Uh, yeah. That's why it was great to get him back. It was very good to get him Thanks back. Thanks a lot, man. Hey. And that's when we went on with the movie. You know, even if we kept on trying to steal my shoes, it was good to have him back. It was. Right. Man, thank God he came back. A really great guy. Uh, terrific. Terrific to the extreme. Stop. Spence came out to Vegas and convinced me to come back. So you know what? I was back. Bitchcock, it doesn't matter. This is my film. Final shoot. 24 days. Oh, let's do it. We're going to be 
able to beat this sucker. You're going to win. Let's go. Wait a second. Chiari. Chiari Alsparo. Back off, boys. He's mine. Get him. Go get him. Chiari Alsparo, you're mine. All right, cut. cut. Wait, 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 wait. We gotta do that again. We gotta do that again. There's something wrong. You're with missing. That. You're missing some spirit. All right, think of this. Spirit. Yo, you want this award? Yeah, I want the award. Yeah, try to get the camera. The award's mine. Yeah. The award's mine. Right. Right. And you're doing straight though. You're doing a great job. All right, all right. All right. You got it all. Right. Where are you taking this from? Where are you taking this from? A little back out. There's a little light coming. There's a little light. Yeah, just a, just a little bit. All okay. Right. All right. Okay. On my mark. Mark. Tiara Sparrow, you are mine. Oh, that was cut. it. That's perfect. That's, That's a wrap. That was yeah. a wrap. Here. All right. Good All right. feeling it right now. Good shoot. You know? Good shoot. Good I'm, I'm really, right. really getting it right. done. Congratulations. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Yeah, we're on schedule. We got to okay. get back down. Anybody want a banana? Oh. <laughs> 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 Okay. So you can be like, oh, oh, stop choking me. You can just get you. So I'm just in pain. That's it. You like a four you're, second you're like in pain you're getting, shot. You're getting choked right now. All right, go. All right, Corey. Now come really close to the camera. What do I do? Just be like, it doesn't matter where we are at all. <laughs> Alright, now you get the Mike Piazza shot. Okay. The money shot. No, no, no. And, and now, now, now feel like, no, it's all about the... No, no, get your hands Yo, we're there. gonna cut between these two. We got two filmings of this. Tiari. Yo, wait, let me get you over here. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Now, yeah, now guys, make a man something. Uh, Tiari. You've forgotten about Mike Piazza. It's, uh, you've forgotten the love that the baseball cards can bring. Take it. Please take it. All right, I'll get a, react, a face all right, shot. All right, wait, what's no, the plot now? No, no, no. Right now, know. right now. Changing really quickly. He just, no, he just gave you the card, so you realize. You'll bow out. Just bow out gracefully. You, you go. realize the love now. No, this so. is what you say. You go, we'll do it together, and you guys run in. Yeah, you go. Wait, no, hold on. Hold but me up, more hold me up. Do the, do okay, the hand shot. Okay, there's, there's. Get his, You've forgotten about my Piazza. Huh? Right here, like on. Fleer, 1998, Mike Piazza. You've forgotten the love that the baseball cards can bring. Take it. Please take it. Don't forget the bone. It's almost three o'clock. Gotta get you in there. Come on, let's go! <laughs> well, we gotta get you in there! You know, and then you have to take off and tear like hell. My time has come. Right. It's almost three o'clock. Gotta get you in there. Come on, let's go! <laughs> Yeah, we're getting the van. All right, cut. Let's go. Oh, why did we hit like second grade? <laughs> so neat. How do you think the scene's coming? Oh, it went well. It went well. Oh, we gotta move. We gotta move on. Is that a reaction? That was yeah, class. That was so, great. guys, how'd the scene go? Oh, it went great. Oh, it went really good. I could feel it. I could feel it right here. It was a screaming. At the end, it was a yeah. catharsis. Of emotions? It was. You guys it's think been, that was budget enough? You think that was high budget? Or, I mean, you need more of a budget, you think? Budget, or is that perfect? I didn't, I didn't budget, budget. budget, man. It's art. That's right. It's art. Day 24. Day 24. Man. We were all out together finally, and uh, it was like a release. Well, there we were. <laughs> right. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> what a good Come day, on, guys. <laughs> what a good day. The part I liked with the, when we did the fight scene. Which uh, which came out 
The fight scene kind of set the tone for the entire day. Yeah, the tires. 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 Yeah, It's time that I wear the hat. Yeah. Finally proud. He's finally proud. I know. That's great. Oh, boy. Great scene. Okay. It was just really crazy. I mean, at one point I just I wasn't doing a good job. And yeah. Right here, it was just I like just you gotta go a slow. little bit slower. I mean, 
You were the camera person. Yeah, I, I was I driving. Think it was going to get that dangerous. Well, I mean, I had to adjust the rear view mirror. Well, that's true. And then, and then you get out of the car. And I was, what is he and doing? I was like, filming the whole here thing. it goes. And so, here we are, the last day of shooting, everything's going great, and <laughs> Ray comes up to me and he's like, we forgot the second act. The second act of the entire script. And it was, it was nighttime, and we had no money left, and hell, we went out to the, the driveway, and the van was gone. We had no time to think. We just went out there, we hopped into a car, we just, we just shot what we could. Right, where? I think I could just it, man. Oh, you already used that. Uh, here. Uh, do we have... Yeah, you got anything I can disarm a bomb with up there? <laughs> I, I, uh, there was a pen before. Spence, give me that pen or something. I can't find a pen anymore. Um, any, anything like metal looking? I have my cell phone. Right, guys, we gotta go into take two. Take two. Yeah, take wait, two? I'll give you my phone. You okay. got it. All right, we're gonna... You should, uh, stop recording this thing because it's recording now. No, oh. Yeah, it is. It's a bomb, all right. I don't but know man, what we're going to do about the bomb. This is a crazy bomb. bomb. We're gonna have to go slow.